Hi everyone, Scorp here, continuing the Duel of Roses Gemini playthrough using beasts. Um, I'm gonna actually go beat Weevil first before I beat Pegasus. Um, because if I get an Arsenal bug from him, which is kind of unlikely, I'd like to put it in my deck for Pegasus. Um, our deck's actually kind of bad against him because we don't have many trigger traps, which is kind of a shame. But we haven't been hitting many, so... Mainly because of our leader power, but also because we've been killing people before they play them. It's actually quite likely that that first card there is a green cap or eye armor that he played. Ooh, a soul of a pure. Don't see that one every day. From him. I think that's like all one of them in his deck. Oh my. I am pretty scared of that card, so I will do this. Ooh, excellent. That is exactly the card I wanted. Oh, it was Jowls. That would have been even worse. Um, good thing this is lethal. And he put a Ryoku on a Larva of Moth. So, um, that's 4,900 damage. Good game, well played. My Garvis is dead. But goodbye, Weevil. Someone asked if Jowls of Dark Demise had an attack animation. Of course it does. Um, and if you want to put a Ryoku on it, or some equips. Oh, it's not lethal. Whoops. He... <laughs> Smile. Um, I'm just gonna actually put infinite dismissal down. That was 5,000 damage, basically. <clears throat> Oh hey, it was an arsenal bug. Good thing I didn't attack. Is this lethal? I know it's a lot of damage. 38? It's only 800 damage. Um, that card in front of me is a mirror force. Or a mirror wall. Could be a mirror wall. But hey, we put an arsenal bug in his graveyard. Surprised that wasn't lethal, but at the same time, like, I should have known better. Because I forgot about the soul of here. <laughs> Smile. Ooh, that is a Dragum of Sir. Now, I'm just going to lethal limb. It's a little bit mean to do to cards, but... <clears throat> that went well enough. And down Weevil goes. I'm not going to save state for this. Oh, okay. I wanted the soul of the pure, but I guess if it just goes and gives me a three in a row, that's fine. Okay, well, 
It took a little bit more effort, but we got there. And he gave me an arsenal bug. Which I'm going to throw in my deck because it's an insanely broken card and it's a forest on a stick. And it'll single-handedly beat Pegasus. Even though I made this card 80 deck cost and 7 stars, even though it should be 3 stars and, like, not 80 deck cost, <clears throat> the card's just busted. It's still too strong. I think I'd play it at 99 deck cost. I definitely played it at 99 deck cost in an insect deck. Um... It'd be a lot more questionable in a beast deck. I mean, it's basically what, like a 3500, 3500 that always has forest terrain? So. That should be 75 deck or 80 deck cost minimum. Well, my opponent has to deal with traps. I don't have to deal with traps. This game is going to probably be kind of easy. I'm hoping. <coughs> it's an interesting play by my opponent, but... That's good with me. Oh goody, I found a gravity bind. Okay, we found the Dharma Cannon. I don't like that play. Because it would hurt me a whole lot. Although, because the Soul Hunter would have attacked it. Okay, well... Now we kind of have to do it. I'm just going to hope this isn't a monster. It's a trap. It's a full range trap at that. It's a good thing I did that so that um, he didn't, it didn't trigger and kill my sleeping lion. Oh, I might be dead. I'm probably dead. Oh yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> ah, Pegasus. <clears throat> Pegasus is terrifying. Oh well, go again. His deck is so strong. Just playing a 4,000 attack beat stick from hand and killing you. Seems pretty good. Not gonna lie. It's pretty good. Well, this time I drew forest. So this should pretty much be game over. Well, that creature is never going to see the light of day. Um, <clears throat> just gonna do this. Um, it's better to move it up one, although it's more dangerous by far. If this card had been a Gravity Bind, I would have been kind of sad about that. And I know it's a trap, so maybe I shouldn't do that. Don't think we're going to need Gate Deep this game. Well, one of those two is a trap. 
just uh, actually play around him moving in front and killing me, you know? Eh, what's the fun in that? I've won. Let's get rid of that. That was a gravity bind. <clears throat> the first card he played was a mirror force or a mirror wall. One of the two. Probably a mirror wall. Since he has three. And now it's game. Our leader power is overpowered. Um, unfortunately we lost that first game because he just played a 4k beat stick. But that just kind of happens. Now, a real gamer would go for the three in a row on Dark Energy, grab the Dark Hole, and then uh, reincarnate it into a, uh, <clears throat> a Ryoku, but I'm not a true gamer, apparently. I missed the three in a row. It's about the only thing this deck's missing, though, is a Ryoku. Or a Mirror Force, I guess. I mean, also, Dark dark Hole's pretty good. I can see putting a Dark Hole in this deck. Either way, I'm just going to reincarnate this. Um, those are some pretty good cards. I'm not going to play any of them, but, I mean, each the Laughing Flower and the Candle Fade are both good enough to actually play in in this deck, so. <clears throat> Definitely consider it if you're playing Beasts and don't already have a super strong deck. Um, but I definitely started this deck off the right way. <clears throat> Shizu, if that's Ryoku, it's not. That's what I kind of expected out of my hand. <clears> hey. <throat> okay. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this Garvis because it's expensive. Um, he could actually get over this, or she could. Uh, probably can't get over that, actually. Without a fusion, it's unlikely. Nope, instead she's just dead. This game's over next turn. This deck is super quick. Um, this is kind of how you're supposed to play this game. Um, if there weren't Labyrinth terrain in the middle of these fields, like, this would be really, really fast games. Hey, Richard's gonna be annoying. <clears throat> Richard destroys all beasts. 
Um, which is kind of annoying. Good leader power, though. Um, but as long as, uh, he doesn't have his AI break, which, uh, I don't know why that happened on, you know, zombies the last time he destroyed all my stuff. Oh, that didn't look like a good news. Looked like a maybe broken AI. That looks like a broken AI. That is a very broken AI. Wonderful. Well, that's great for me. My opponent has taken 3,400 damage. Um, worst case now, I can just pass turns until I win, because he's at 600 life points. I can't really surprise him with King Tiger anymore. I'll just do this. His AI is not completely broken. Just mostly broken. I need something weaker. Okay, we win. I'm not going to watch Fire Eye because of how many duels we still have to do. Okay, game over. Good game, go next. And it's partially broken AI, which is something I really didn't want to deal with. But, hey, it only partially broke.
again, none of these cards are anything I want. <clears throat> if you're wanting to play a pyro deck, um, I could have farmed all this stuff from my... Although the beast deck goes into pyros pretty efficiently. Although most of those cards are just available in passwords, so... The only thing you really get from that guy is uh, equips. Okay, um, so battle over, we won. England's ours. Now all we have to do is deal with Kaiba. I have to say that I don't think Yugi did lifted a single finger in this game. So time for Kaiba. It's like, yay, you have completed the sum- or you need to beat me now so that you can complete the summoning. I'm pretty sure that's a monster. Well, we drew Arsenal Bug. So let's hope that's a monster. Oh, it is a monster. It's a bad monster. Uh, I don't want to watch Arsenal Bug attack. I think in our insect playthrough I watched it attack like 18 times. <clears throat> it's probably an MBD with an equip. It is. We got time for an NBD to beat down an arsenal bug. Again, if I had an insect leader, these would have tied. Or no, arsenal bug would have won. Arsenal bug's such a terrifying card on an on a insect leader. But here it was just a seven cost forest, which I'm fine paying seven cost for a forest. Just watched MBD attack once. Let's not watch it again. Okay. Excellent. I literally just wanted rid of my Mimi Cat, so. That going away is good. We'll skip this. Um, I think I have lethal next turn guaranteed. I don't think there's a single thing you can do about this. So. Good game, well played, Kaiba. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't even need to use the Arsenal Bug. It doing damage to the Gate Deeg was like a like Garvis could have done that. So, yeah. Okay, and now final boss time. So we need to edit our deck. 
So Kaiba's like, yay, you fell into my trap. Now you have all the cards. Summoning time. Congrats, you completed the summoning. Um, I'm not going to do this reincarnation. Um, because I don't want to. <clears throat> I want Feral Rock, not Revolver Rock. Um, just in case we lose, then I can do a reincarnation for cards that might help. Although we have a pretty good deck against this guy. So, let's get into it. Um, I got rid of Arsenal Bug because it's probably not very useful. Um, okay, opponent. Yeah, that was pretty rude. If he tremendous fires me here, I'm just going to be sad. Uh, I guess I'd rather end on the uh, Monster Reborn. Okay, Goblin Fan makes this a lot easier. Because now he can't just kill me. Although, two of his Ryokus are gone, so... I also forget, does uh, Ryoku trigger, or Goblin Fan, uh, trigger on your own, um, Ryokus? I hope not. So if it does, I'm about to die. Nope, it doesn't. It's not like Royal Decree. I don't need Dimension Hole this game. I mean, I guess I could Dimension Hole right here and then fight him from there, but I'd rather just draw a Labyrinth Breaker. Excellent. No. You know, draw through half your deck, put three Labyrinth Breakers in your deck, and not see a single one. Pretty typical. <laughs> okay. Never drew a Labyrinth Breaker. Didn't matter. Goblin Pan Fan OP. Even with him opening double Ryoku.
I think there was more damage done in that game by Ruryoku's than there was anything else. Because there was 5,000 damage dealt with Ruryoku. That's pretty disgusting. Well, guess I didn't need that uh, Dharma Cannon or the Peril Rock that I went out of my way to go get. So I never drew them. I guess this just shows how bad the AI is de at dealing with Goblin Fan. Well, anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, that was a beast playthrough. It was uh, really quite easy. So thank you all for watching. Have a nice day.